of past many months. So you go that time when I was this small. That is the song my parents they used to sing. They don't sing all the song we used to sing now. Now we have many songs that is not shaking the kingdom of God. You see them, they always sing the song. Keep me near the cross. They know that it's real cross. Fight is just men. Keep me there. I don't want to be fighting near central bank. I don't want to be fighting near political sector. Keep me near the cross. Anything that will take me far from the cross, don't allow me to go. Keep me. Many of you can substitute the cross for billion, for money, for fame. But it was not like that with those men that brought the revival, that brought change. The cross always keep me near the cross. Keep me. When was the last time you prayed and tell God to keep me near the cross? Because you don't want to fail, you not did my practice. I said God will forgive you. You have left the cross. The man living in the cross can take persecution for Jesus. She or he can fail for Jesus. They can fail for Jesus. Because you want to come and give testimony. I did it where God helped me. You know how you passed it. It was not God that helped you. Anything that do not go through the cross is not accepted by Christ. Everything must go. Your success must pass through the cross. In the cross, there is no shortcut. In the cross. There is no shortcut. You came and you give testimony. You know how you got the money now? My uncle sent me money. You know how he got it? There are still Christians that send nude. There are Christians that do such shots. Two times. They come to fellowship. Some of them go to their boyfriend's house and go to church on Sunday morning and sing before God. And sing before God. And you talk to them, you say, God is not the way you think. You don't know. You don't know God. You don't know God. I came to ask you, you want God to, to stop seeking fame, man. Where is your location? Where are you find? There are many of you as you are looking at me. Your life is full of money. You are just looking for money. You are looking for money. That's your life, your life. I go hammer, I go hammer. You can't rest. Now hammer, you want hammer. God will not use you like that, brother. You must come to the cross. That is where our victory is. That is where the selection takes place. The cross. He will not lower his standard for any man. He will not. You want God to use you to change your family is the cross. Because for God, the cross is the power unto salvation. Look at what we're singing now, now. See now we come and give testimony. Praise the Lord. Do you know what makes messages powerful? Is messages that come from the cross. What makes ministration powerful? The administration that comes from the cross. When it comes from the cross, it can cut through. It can pierce through. But look at how empty our someone is. Christians. The same Christian that went to the church yesterday, that went to church today, there are still the same Christians that will take a bribe tomorrow in office. There are still the same Christian. It pains me so much. The Eastern part of Nigeria, we are so religious. The cross is not at work in our life. There is no civil servant office you enter. In Nigeria today, you not drop money. And they are not Muslims, they are all Christian. Some of them will do morning devotion by 8 a.m. And they won't tell you, you came early, wait after our morning devotion. We'll see you by night. And you go to them, they'll tell you if you can't bring money. They can't help you. The question I'm asking, who are they bringing to in the money? We have a lot of crossless Christian. No Christian carrying cross. In fact, for many of you now, carrying the cross is the same. So of you are even disappointed in my message. You are thinking I will come and tell you five rims to assess the place called use them. That's what you are expecting. I should come and tell you big, big things. The revelation we have now, our fathers didn't have it, but they shut down shrines. Our generation have big revelations, but we have little power. No power at all. No power. We have, you see people telling you, 24 ways to assess divine portals to be used. You start saying abstract things. You say, wow, wow, wow. After you say, wow, wow, you go back home and masturbate it. Because it only takes the cross. To deal with addiction. addiction. You want God to stop seeking for me? You must come to the cross. If God wants to change anything in your family, the person he loses for is not the one that prays in the night. It's not that one he will use. The one he will use is the one that has come to where? The cross. The cross is the location where every man that God uses must operate from. Is the location. Man that God is must have prayed. 
It's only that location that your prayer can come like incense. It's only that location that can command the works of God over a directory. Take our intercession over campus. Take those of us that are into intercessory meeting. What happens after the midnight prayer? You will see the group leader with the sister, they will come on one side. And you are wondering what are they doing? It will shock you. The same people that prayed are the same people committing immorality. How will God now save our campus? The reason why darkness is advancing is that men that are praying, they are praying even in darkness. So God is deaf that he can't hear. The cross. I know you're expecting me to talk you talk something abstract. But when I came, I didn't feel like to talk anything abstract. Because even the time will not even allow me. I came to tell you. God will stop seeking a man if you find a man in the cross. He will stop seeking. I sought for a man. I sought for a man. When you hear God said he's looking for a man, he's looking for a man that has a bearing from the cross. All his decision is from the cross. Do you know, sister? The cross can determine the flow to you wear. The cross, it can determine the clothing you put on. The cross. Brother, the cloth can determine the food you eat. A lot of things are decided on the cross. On the cross, on the cross. You cannot be wearing so breast and expect God to use you. Your cleavage, everything is out like this. If you come to the cross, the cross will deal with that appetite. Many Christians still look like the world because they have not come to the cross. It is the cross that makes us different from the world. The cross. It is the divider between the world and those that belong to Christ. The cross. Now, purity is now something. Even people that talk about purity, they are not saved. Some talk about purity, but they are they are they know what they do. 